Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is the Test Pilot, the series in which we take viewer-submitted ships, test them out, and then hopefully make some improvements to them. Today's entry is from Gaming Wolf, and that is the Sonic Hunter. Thank you very much for the submission. Let's get straight into our test pilot universe and see. This is, of course, the first impression series, so I have no idea what this looks like yet. Apart from the very brief screenshot I get sent. 165 parts. So it's a fairly big one, presumably. Fairly big one. Let's have a look. Ah! This looks nice. This looks very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Is this orbital capable? Because... I don't know, that's an intake. I thought that was an aerospike for a second. Wow. Okay, well, I'm not sure whether this has any action groups. That's something to note. I, I really do need to find out whether these ships have action groups before testing them. But I guess that comes in the improvements section, because I do need to start improving these aircraft. Even though I probably won't do a very good job of it. Let's fire up this, this ship and see how it handles. Let's go. Now, I'm not entirely sure. Does it have... Yes, it's got... Uh... What's it called? I forgot what it was called last time as well. Uh, the aeronautics pack, the, the something. The advanced SAS, just not as powerful. Oh god. Oh, lift, lift, lift. Whoa, okay. We, we, lost, we lost the wheels. That's fine, we're badly balanced. Oh, we lost an engine as well, Christ. We need to double back. Oh, that, that is not good. Hey, we're actually, we're actually surprisingly stable with this. Oh, my god. Yeah, land on the ocean. Single stage to ocean, this is. Beautiful. We're actually surprisingly stable. We've lost an entire engine. We're still still flying absolutely fine. This is awesome. I do... I have to note, I absolutely love the solar panel placement on this. Solar panel placement is, in fact, awesome. If you, if you had not already realised. Alright. Well, I won't be able to land this, so... Well, you know what? Bill Kerman signed the paperwork... He signed the contract when he got into this, this untested ship. So he clearly knew what he was doing, and then he committed suicide. Or, yeah, he committed suicide. Restart flight. <laughs> Man, what is it that all aircraft, no matter how well they're built, just pull to the right for some reason? Let's try this again, shall we? Launching in three, two... We don't, we don't have a liftoff. We don't have a countdown. This is an aircraft. What am I doing, Harvey? Okay. Keep it to the center now. The turning is definitely very good. It's not overdone on the, uh, on the tail flap. Certainly. Alright. Near the end of the runway. And lift. Very nice. We can put in those. The, the flapping the flapping is annoying. Does this have, does this have advanced SAS as well? That's the, the pack I can't remember the name of. And... Oh, well, if it has it, it's very well concealed. Let's fly this manually. Oh, flying manually is a breeze. This is nice. And the amount of big ram air intakes it's got means that it can probably go to a very high altitude. This is a really well-built plane. I'm actually astounded by this. This is so good. We shall land this over at the dirt track, or attempt to at least. I think it's actually... I think it's wider than the dirt track is. Okay, that, that's going to be some fun. Um, we shall land it over there, and then we shall see if I have any modifications I want to make to it. Um, and then... And then we shall take it somewhere. I'm thinking the rivers, because we went to that target island last time, although we didn't find anything there, which was more than a bit of a disappointment, admittedly. But um, we didn't find anything there, so hopefully we can actually go to the rivers just for the sake of seeing rivers. I have been there before, but it'll, nice, it'll be a nice thing to do. Returning back to the ship plane, if we actually put that back on. Oh god, that flapping. That dr drives me mad. No. No, if we can improve anything, we're going to improve that. Um, specifically for the need of being able to time warp. To make sure it doesn't take ages. This has got a lot of flaps. A lot of flaps. And that's a good thing. It gives you a lot of maneuverability. 
Also, I can't see the engine's gimbal in, I suppose, yeah, I suppose they are doing it. Maybe the animation's broken or something, I don't know. Also, is this circular intake actually... Yeah, that intake's going back, it's facing the wrong way, and yet it still manages to take in air. That's pretty awesome. Um, it has got nine intakes in total. It's got four ram intakes and several ones mounted onto the side. This is extremely well developed. I like it a lot. Obviously not orbital capable, because it's only air breathing. Maybe that's something we could change. If we get rid of this intake, maybe we could slap a, um, some sort of aero spike onto the back. And we could try and add some uh, oxidizer in order to make it actually work. But yes. Yes, that is very nice. First impressions are entirely positive with this. And the implications suggested, like, as I've just said, those implications, they are pretty good. Alright, we'll come into land here, and then we'll see... We'll see about, uh... Taking this thing to the lakes. Or to the rivers, indeed. Ah, uh, I'm not particularly confident about this. I think it's too wide. <laughs> Throttling back. Trying to drive these motors down. Okay, I think this, we're near the minimum we can actually safely puts the engines. Very easy to control. Very maneuverable. Even for a novice like me. <laughs> Are we going to do this? Mm, nah, no, I don't think so. Oh, maybe. We are going way too fast, though. Avoid the tower! Haha! <laughs> That can do an aileron roll very nicely. Okay, let's see if we can find a different place to land safely. Maybe maybe just on here. Cut the engines. There we go, coming in for a landing. Passengers, please hold on. <sighs> this is your captain speaking. We are trying to land on a slope, because I'm an idiot. Oh, there we go! That was nice. That was a nice landing. Very good. Very good indeed. And we can put the brakes on soon. Brakes. There we go. Parking brake is on. This is such a good plane. I can't wait to see what I can add to this. Although I suspect it's not going to be an awful lot. Let's take a look, shall we? Alright, here we go. Sonic Hunter. Right, what can we do to... Add autopilot, but remove that crazy flapping. Not an awful lot, I don't think. I mean, I need to find out what this is called once and for all. What is it? Avionics! Oh, God, obviously. It's avionics package. Of course, I knew that. I knew that. Um, let's take a look at the balances. Yeah, center of lift behind, behind center of mass. That's good. That's how it should be, from my limited knowledge. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to change. I don't think I should. If I have any wits about me, I wouldn't attempt to. This is clearly the result of a, uh, a lot of testing and discerning what the true what the true plane should look like. And it hit the mark absolutely. Yes. Even though this is the test pilot, the series in which I try to change things, I don't think that applies to planes. My my knowledge of what makes planes better is quite limited. I prefer to play around with rockets a bit more. One thing I'd like to do, and I'm probably going to do this in the future, is replace these with um, with regular fuel tanks. Obviously, I'm going to have to change up the balancing of everything, but these these outside tanks, replace them with regular fuel tanks, and replace this with an aero spike. Do some crazy crazy wiring with fuel lines and whatnot, and we should be able to have an easily orbital capable ship. Slap some RCS on there, maybe, and then we're good to go. But right now, I think we're going to take this to some rivers. I, I'm just not qualified to change this in the, the time scale that we have in this, the time available we have in this video. So, the Sonic Hunter shall remain undirtied by my grubby hands. Let's take this on a journey. <laughs> So here we are on the runway, and let's take off the brakes, and let's extremely fast accelerate these stuffy muthy. 
And that was not a word, but as you can probably tell, we've sped up time and we are now sped up time. We're at four times speed, four times regular speed, or four times speed of the game that is, because at a few points during this flight, I actually, uh, I actually put up the speed to two times speed, which would make it eight times speed. Let's stop saying speed speed. We're going to take this craft to a river. Now, I have to say, this craft is actually amazing. The plane, it's so good. Now, I had some misgivings during the flight, uh, because the avionics package is making it flutter incredibly badly. Look how much it's fluttering. In, in the end, I just decided to take it off and try and fly it manually. And uh, to entertain me during the manual phase, I decided to put on some Skyrim music. <laughs> Yes, yes. Hmm. I'm not going to play too much of this because it would get me done for copyright, but this is what I, I spent the next 20 minutes doing. And it was an awful lot of fun. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So, um, yes. But I've discovered that uh, when you get to the higher altitude, so we're currently just passing 13,000 meters, and I'm actually turning over because I need to adjust my inclination somewhat to my heading. But um, once you get into the higher atmosphere and, and the thinner atmosphere, you can actually put it back on and it doesn't shake about in the least. So that's absolutely fine then. I can keep it on like that. And the great thing with avionics is that you can adjust without having to take off SAS. Harvey. You can adjust without having to take it off. Ugh, God, I, just, I should ignore. I should just, you know, I should learn more about the game before playing. Yeah. But yes, I do realise later, so it's not like I keep on fumbling with the F key every time. But yeah, this, I mean, the ship isn't perfectly balanced. The centre of lift is too far behind the centre of mass, it, which results in it tipping nose down if you let it. But with avionics, avionics has enough control over the ship to make sure it doesn't happen to any great extent. So you can see how smooth it's flying now. It's really nice, really very nice. And you can see how fast it's going. I mean, even though this is four times sped up, it still looked roughly like this when I was flying the thing, listening to my epic Skyrim music. Here we are, nearly crossed continents, and we're very close to getting towards our lake. Top speed is like 15... Over, I think we almost got 16 kilometers a second at some point during this flight, which is incredible. This is so good, and you can see the intake's not even below 10, which is my dan my self-appointed danger zone, I think it, I think it is. There we go, nearly approaching, getting closer and closer. Ooh, so we're going to start tipping down, pitching forwards, and just uh, bringing down our altitude. All this is, is a sort of reconnaissance mission. Oh, and by the way, the, uh, the cockpit view has been bugged, yeah. This is chase camera as well, which is quite a nice view. You can see when we tip, the whole whole world tips underneath us, which I quite like. Not very good for landing, but pretty good for taking cinematics. And of course, as we get into the thicker atmosphere, the whole avionic system starts fluttering again. So we're going to disable that very soon. But yeah, um, the ship is so good to fly, so very good. In a future video, if I have your permission, Gaming Wolf, I, uh, I do want to edit this and uh, see what I can do with it really yeah that that oh god that yeah that gives me a that that's not the best way to land put it that way using chase camera so we'll bring the throttle right down and we'll go in for our landing um, but yes I do want to make this orbital capable because it's certainly got the build it's got the body in order to be able to do that very much so and we get a smooth landing very smooth actually Un quite unlike my uh, my track uh, my track record with aeroplanes, I uh, I actually managed to do this pretty well, and we can see the lakes. Look at them, so blue, so very nice and blue. Very very good. This is the end of the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been the test pilot. If you'd like to submit a ship into the test pilot series, you need to send that to my email at hockgaming at live co uk. There is information in the description as well as a link to a video explaining exactly what you need to do to make your ship eligible. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.